Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at General Veers 2018 Walgreens exclusive. So this is a figure that I've been wanting for a while, but it has been hovering around 40 bucks, 45 bucks, a little steep, but right around Christmas time, my wife said, just get it and call it a Christmas present. So I said, okay. And as you can see, it comes in the red and black box. You got Star Wars, the black series up top, pretty good size window. You can see General Veers. He's got a hat on in the box, but he also comes with a helmet, comes with a blaster, that is a DL-21, and he also has the chest armor. Pretty cool accessories. Got the Walgreens exclusive sticker there, and you get a nice picture of General Veers there. On this side of the box, front window wraps around, you got General Veers, and then just Veers in the big font. It's just red on this side of the box, and it's not numbered because it was a Walgreens exclusive. The top of the box is just black. On the bottom, you got the barcode and all the stuff that no one reads. And on the back, you have the same picture as the front. You've got a bio in four different languages, and then you got some more stuff that no one reads. I'm going to get General Veers open, and let's take a look at him. All right, so I got General Veers open, and let's just take a look at him from head to toe. So this is how he is right out of the box with his cap on, and we'll start up here with this, and I think it looks good. It's a nice looking hat. Got some great wrinkles in here. Got this little silver thing going on there. Some more wrinkles on this side. I mean, it's a good looking hat. And as far as how it sits on his head, I mean, it's a hat. It just sits there. But once it's on, it's on. It, it stays pretty well, I think. But let's take it off and let's get a good look at his face and hair. And I must say, this is a good looking face sculpt. The eyes look great. The nose, the mouth. I mean, they pretty much nailed the Julian Glover likeness. I mean, this looks really, really good. And I think they did a pretty good job with the hair. Nice parted on the side. Got some great waves throughout. All this back here, that's what the back looks like. I mean, it's just a nice, short, officer-style haircut, but it totally works, and I think they did a good job on it. But let's put his hat back on. Because with the hat on, if I put this picture of Julian Glover up, yeah, <laughs> he looks... This is a pretty good figure. I mean, they... They pretty much nailed the face. That's spot on. But you know, from the neck down, it's an Imperial officer. There's there's not much going on at all. But for Veers, I mean, they got the general rank correct. Four reds, four blues. I mean, that is correct. He has one code cylinder on this side. Nothing on this side. Gray, black belt, silver buckle, silver little niblet right there. Black gloves, poofy pants and shiny black boots. I mean, it's just like all the other Imperial officers. They all kind of share the same body, but that face is great on this one. But getting back to sharing the same body, now I still have to do a review on Tarkin, but sharing the same body presents a little bit of a problem. So Peter Cushing is six feet tall. Kenneth Colley's 5'8". Julian Clover is 6'2". But here they're practically the same height. So that is a nitpick, but they all share the same body, um, but yeah, the height, if you want to get picky, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. But when they're spread out, you know, various parts of the shelf, it'll be fine. It's fine. I'm just nitpicking, but uh, yeah, yeah, from the neck down, it's an Imperial officer. Not much to say about it. I mean, all this looks really nice back here. The wrinkles are nice. I think they did a great job with the wrinkles on the pants, the blouse trousers, how they sort of bunch up on top of the boots. I mean very well done and the boots look great on on all the officers so yeah it's an officer from the neck down but it gets the job done and as far as articulation you know they're all pretty much the same you know side to side of the head got a little bit of down a little bit of up some decent tilt you know that's not too bad arms you know they all go up to about right there they rotate around you got a single elbow that gets just barely 90 so that's eh. I'm not a big fan of the elbows, but you know, the elbow swivel, wrist swivel. The wrists are hinged side to side, which I'm not a fan of. Um, legs go up to there. You know, this front piece is very flexible. Legs go up that far. They go out. They go back to there. Double knees get up to about right there. Feet go down just to there. They don't go up. Oh, man, that's tight. They just go up that far, and then, of course, the ankles swivel. So articulation, that's that's the articulation in a nutshell. You know, not the greatest, but for officers, I usually just have them pose like this, you know, with their hands behind their back. Um, Veers, I may do a little bit different. But most of the officers, you know, Tarkin, Thrawn, Piet, usually hands behind their back, you know, just very, you know, very officer-like. 
The fancy articulation isn't really needed for officers, but it's fine for what it is. But let's take a look at some of the accessories that come with General Veer. So there's a good look at his blaster, the DL-21. Um, very nice sculpt. It's a cool looking blaster. It is pretty much the same. See if I can rotate this and still hold on to it. Pretty much the same on both sides. I mean, nothing too crazy. It's all black, but it is a really nice sculpt and a pretty cool blaster. And there's a good look at the helmet that he comes with. This is pretty cool. I really like this helmet. Got some goggles sitting up here, chin strap going under, got a little microphone there. If I rotate it around, that is what that side looks like. Got some silver. Nice detail on this strap here. That looks fantastic. If I rotate it around to the back, the back is nicely done. Got some great sculpt there. These little dots, little rivets, or I don't know what they are, but they look great. Smooth on top. Come around this side. Just more of the same. Got a little thing sculpted in there. That looks great. Good lines. Pretty good paint throughout. I mean, the strap is nicely done. This black down here looks really good. Yeah, it's a cool looking helmet. And there's a close up of the chest armor that he comes with that just kind of goes over him. This looks great. Got the general rank up here. Got some little things sculpted up there. Nice lines. All the paint in here is nicely done. Super clean. I don't see any whoopsies anywhere. Some red, some white, some black. This is pretty cool. Got this thing. Looks like a little snowflake. For Hoth. Yeah. <laughs> no. Got this little thing there. Got a holster attached to it. Um, the back, I mean, you got some great detail on the back. Got some yellow back here, some more red and white, some more sculpt. Silver's nicely done. And then the belt comes around for the holster and it will peg together on the inside. So the peg is hidden, which is fantastic. I love that. And that's what that side looks like. So it just kind of goes over him, goes around his waist and pegs together. But that is a cool looking little armor bit there. Love this. So let's see what the armor looks like on him. So I'm going to remove his hat and this will just slip over his head like that. The strap will go there, up underneath the left arm, comes around like that. The peg, like I mentioned, is on the inside. So you just gotta kind of find it and peg that together. That looks great. The peg is hidden. I love that. And that actually sits on him pretty well. Yeah, it's a pretty cool look. Yeah. I like that. It kind of sits high on his shoulders a little bit, but from straight on, you know, you really can't tell, but um, it's a cool little armor piece there. And let's see what the helmet looks like. It just slips on his head really nice. The chin strap, yeah, goes right under his chin. Very good. And <laughs> that is a good look. I mean, if I put a picture of General Veers slash Julian Glover up here on the screen, that is pretty much a dead ringer. I mean, that really looks good. The microphone sitting there right next to his mouth looks pretty good. Goggles. Love all this in here. Yeah, what? That, that's a good look. It's a nice figure. So now that we have his armor on, let's see what the blaster looks like in his hand. And this thing kind of wants to sit. Well, that's okay. It's a weird shaped grip, um, but he does hold that pretty well. It's not going to fall out. Now this blaster will probably stay in the holster because I don't think we saw General Veers wield a blaster at all, but he does hold that pretty well. Um, and fire low from the hip. Um, it's a pretty good look. Like I said, it'll probably stay in the holster, but he does hold that pretty well. And speaking of holsters, this little thing here will unpeg and the blaster will just slip in there like so. Well, that is super tight. There we go. Mm, there. So it doesn't go in very far. Strap comes around and just pegs back. Oh, that pegged in nicely. Okay. <laughs> it's a miracle. That pegged in great. All right, so that's what it looks like in the holster. I think it looks really good. So the grip of the pistol kind of gets in the way of his elbow, but if he just have his hands down by his side or behind his back, you know, just like most officers, um, it's a pretty good look. And that's what he looks like on the shelf with some other Hoth characters there. So he's a good height. Uh, he looks good in between those two at, -AT drivers and the probe droid back there, snow trooper. Yeah, kind of cleared out a little spot there for him on the snow. Um, but he looks great on the shelf. I mean, this is a pretty cool figure. I absolutely love the armor, and that face sculpt is just tremendous. I mean, they really did a nice job on this one. But he does look great on the shelf there. So, yeah, I'd have to say, this is a pretty nice figure. I mean, they nailed the face. <laughs> this is such a cool look. I'll, I'll probably just leave him like this. But, yeah, what, what a nice-looking figure. Great-looking face. I love this helmet. I mean, they pretty much nailed the look of the helmet and the chest armor. 
the, I think the blaster looks great in its holster. I mean, that looks better in the holster than in his hand, but it's a nice figure from top to bottom. I mean, yes, from the neck down, it's an officer, very plain, but this armor totally makes up for it. Great looking face again. I mean, this face is fantastic. I love the little rank kind of showing through there. Code cylinder, rank again, general. All this in here looks fantastic. And I love the, this little attention to detail back here in the back, something that you're not gonna see that often. So nice that they painted that, but yeah, from top to bottom, this is a really, really good looking figure. And I am so happy to finally have it. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what you think of General Veers. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this one, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications because I'm always posting something. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.